Ladies and gents, I uh, hope you're well. So today we're gonna do a quick comparison between uh, Malabe Maple uh, in linear algebra. Okay, cool. So on a side note, um, I'll really appreciate it if you guys do subscribe to my channel. So if you like what you see, please uh, subscribe and I'll greatly appreciate that. Okay, cool, let's get started. So I've got my matrix, so I'll call it M, right? And then I'll do the same for uh, Maple, so M. equals matrix so I'll just copy that come on copy right and paste that in there right so what I'm gonna do is I just need to adjust a few things in there um, and to put a comma After each number, right, and then uh, we plot along. We plot along. Sorry, right, and um, yeah, and then finally another comma there. Sorry, something cool. Right, yeah. We got there in the end. Okay, cool. So yeah, so that's my uh, matrix here. So what I need to do now is I need to um, type in a comment. So we're gonna find the determinant and the trace. So determinant of M and then uh, likewise uh, determinant. M and then I need to find uh, the trace so trace it's M and uh, that's the sum of dia diagonal entries in the matrix okay in my matrix M right and then the same result trace That's M, and then just put a comment as well there, like um, we've done in MATLAB. So come on, copy, and then paste. Okay, and then now, uh, so what I need to do now is uh, I've got to solve um, um, a system, um, a system of uh, a linear system of equation. So M. So actually, like, let me tell you this way, so solve um, the linear system mx equals c. So what I need to do now is I need to create um, a column vector. So that's 1, minus 1, minus 1, and then 0, not all, 0. Actually, sorry, my bad. So one and colon minus one, and then a semicolon minus one, and then and the semicolon again, then zero. Yeah. So that's the column vector. Sorry, and then um, do the same here as well. So one minus one minus one and then zero okay so solving the linear system of equations so lin solve right and then MC just copy the matrix there the matrix M Come on, copy, and then paste that, and then um, linear solve. Right, okay, so um, here you got decimal numbers, and then here you got fractions. 
So what I'll do is I'll just do this evolve. I'll do the top one, the top fraction, just to show you that it's just the same. Yeah, 49. So 2 2.306122 and so forth. So that's the same, it's the same entry. Okay, um, evolve. Uh, so minus 137 divided by 49. The last entry, yeah, minus 2.7959, pretty much the same. Yeah, cool, right? So what I need to do now is I need to find uh, the eigenvalues and eigenvectors. So, so eigenvalue, uh, eigenvectors and my values um, equals to eig and then m. So these are my eigenvectors and these are the eigenvalues. Okay, so then in maple, so eigen eigenvectors well yeah it's computed that and stuff and brought me that but it's essentially the same as that okay and then the eigenvalues There we are. Right. And then what I need to do now is I need to find the characteristic polynomial. So poly and uh, M. And then do the same as, uh, same here as well. So characteristic polynomial. So M, I'm going to use X instead. So X to the power of 4 minus 7X cubed minus 9X squared plus 60X minus 49. So it's just the same. Essentially the same here. Okay, cool. So yeah, um, I hope this is helpful. And um, obviously, MATLAB seems a bit neater when it comes to matrices because um, it uses uh, matrices as its native language. Okay, but um, Maple is equally uh, at home as well with linear algebra. Okay, so um, hopefully this is helpful, guys. And thank you for watching. And um, have a good one. Cheers, guys. Bye bye.